Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to practice finding the least common multiple, which you could think of as the lowest common denominator. And it will help you when adding fractions with an unlike uh, denominator. So let's get started. And some I will use factors and others I will use a factor tree. So let's get started with this first one. I'm going to write out the factors of 5, 10, 15, 20. That should be enough. And now for 15, we have 15, 30. And I can already see we have a common factor. It's the lowest factor. So for 5 and 15, the least common multiple is 15. Now let's go with 20 and 6. I'm going to start with 20, 40, 60, 80, and now for 6. Okay, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Nothing common yet, so I'll keep going. 36, 42, 48, 54, and look, here we go. We have 60. It's common. It's the lowest one. So now for 20 and 6, it is 60. Now, for this next one, we, we have 6 and 60, and we already have 6 drawn out, so let's just go with 60, and look, we can already see we have a common lowest factor, and so for 6 and 60, it's going to be 60. Now, let's go with the next one, 30 and 40, and for this one, I think I'll just use a factor tree. I actually like finding uh, uh, LCDs using a factor tree. So we have, um, what, what is that? We got 3 times 10, circle the 3 because it's prime, and then we have 5 times 3. They're both prime, and then let's go with 40. Let's go with uh, 4 times 10. 4 is not prime, so we'll go 2 and 2. And then 2 and 5, so we have quite a few prime numbers. Now what I do is I make a chart, and I place the numbers in the chart. We've got 3, 3, 5, and then we've got um, 2, 2, 2, and 5. And so what you do is you bring down the numbers, but if you have more than one, just bring down one number. So, wow, we have a lot of numbers to multiply together. So let's see if we can do this. All right, before I move on, I see a mistake here. This should be a 2. So let's get rid of uh, these and add a 2 there. Sorry for the mistake because 5 times 2 is 10. So now let's bring them down. We have a 3. We have a 5. We have a 2, a 2, and a 2. Okay, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, 30 times 2 is 60, 60 times 2 is 120. So for number 4, we're at 120. Sorry about this mistake, but I caught it. Okay, for this next one, I think I'll go factor tree again. Okay, 15 is 3 times 5, they're both prime, and then 24. Four. Let's see, we got 2 times 12, and then uh, let's go 3 times 4 and 2 times 2. The 3 is prime and the 2s. I think I did that correctly. Now let's put 15 and 24, and we've got 3 and a 5. Then we have a 3, and then a 2, 2, and 2. So let's bring them down. Remember, if you have more than one, just bring one digit down. And we have a 5 there. And we have 2, 2, and 2. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. 60, 120. So for 15 and 24, the least common multiple, or you could look at it as an LCD, is 120. Let's move on to the next one. If you get good at finding these lowest common multiple, then adding 
fractions with unlike denominators will be pretty easy. Why don't we go ahead and factor these. Let's start with 24, then we have 48, and then what do we have? 72, then we have 96 and 120, and let's go with 20, 40, 60, no common factor yet, 80, 100, 120. There we go. That's the least common factor, which becomes the least common multiple. So it is 120. I probably should have gone with the factor tree on that one, but uh, it worked out fine. Okay, up next is this one, and I'm going to use factors, but I'm going to start with 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and here's why, because look, we have a factor. Okay, so it may be to your advantage if you have a smaller number, maybe start with that. So for this number, it is 24. Okay, we have 5 and 4. Why don't we start with 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and then now we have 5, 10, 15, 20. There it is, common factor, so it is a 20. Now let's go with 30 and 6. Again, I'm going to start with the smaller number on this. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. And with 30, I can see we have a common factor, so it is 30. On this one, just to mix it up, let's go with a factor tree. 5 is prime. And then 60, let's go 6 times 10, 2 times 3, they're both prime. And then 2 times 5, they're prime. So let's put a chart so we have a 5. Now we have a 5 for the 60, so I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to put a 2 a 2 and a 3, so bring down, there's two of them, only bring down 1, so we got a 5, 2, 2, and 3, that's 10, 20, 20 times 3 is 60. So for 5 and 60, answer is 60. Remember, we could have also done factors, but I just thought we'd mix it up a little bit. Okay, on this one, I'm going to go ahead with the factor tree again, mainly because I'm not good with my factors of 8, and I like doing factor trees. So 15 is 3 times 5, and I, I knew this would be a really easy factor tree. And 8 is, um, let's go 2 times 4, and 2 and 2. They're all prime, so now let's fill in my box, 15 and 8. 15 is 3 and 5. And 8 is 2, 2, and 2. Bring down the numbers. And then we're going to multiply everything together. So now this is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. 30 times 2 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. So for 15 and 8, so 120. Okay, on this one, I'm going to do factors. I'm going to start with 15, and you'll probably see why. Because 15 times 2 is 30, and then 30 is 30. So we have common factors. It's the lowest. So answer is 30. Okay, I'm looking at this one, and the factors for 24 I think will be a little challenging. So I'm going to go with a factor tree because it's an even number. And so I know I can divide it by two. And like I said before, I like factor trees. Okay. Two times 12 is 24. Uh, let's go two times six is 12. And then two times three is six. I have all the common factors for 24. Now how about 40? Four times 10 uh, excuse me, 4 is not, I don't know why I circled it, but 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times 5. So we, we're down to prime numbers, 
Let's put them in a nice little box. I need to move this up a little bit, don't I? Okay. So 24, it is a 2, 2, 2, and a 3. And then for 40, we have a 2, 2, 2, and 5. So bring all this down. We have a 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. There's 4, 8. 8 times 3 is 24. And 24 times 5 is 120. So the least common multiple for 24 and 40 is 120. Now let's go with 5 and 10. We'll do factors. 5, 10, and look, we have a common factor. So it is 10. Let's work the next one. We have 4, 8, 12. Again, here's our lowest common multiple. So it is 8. Now let's move on to the next we have 5 and 30. Why don't we go ahead and do a factor tree? 5, 10, 15, 20. Because fives are very easy. Okay. And again, it's the same pattern. We have a low factor. So 5 and 30 is 30. Oh, on this one, I know that we're going to have a lot of factors with 3. So why don't we do a factor tree? 3 is prime, so there's no factor tree. 60 is pretty easy. It's just 6 times 10. 2 times 3. They're both prime. And then 2 times 5. They're all prime. So now I'm going to put 3 on the inside of the box. Then I'm going to go with 60. I'm going to go 3 right here. Then I'm going to go 2, 2, and 5. Bring down 1, 3. We move this up a little bit. Sorry about that. And then we have a 2, a 2, and a 5. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. So the answer for this one is 60. So if you had a fraction that was maybe 1 60th and 2 thirds, the lowest common denominator would be 60. And then you would add from there. Now we have 20 and 3. Why don't I start with the 3? Because it's smaller. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to write out a lot of factors. We got 21, then we've got 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. 39, 42, we're getting close to 60, 45, 48, probably should have done a factor tree on this one, 48, 51, 54, 57, hey, we're at 60, and I need to do the factors for 20, 20, 40, 60, I got ahead of myself, so there, is 60. 20, 40, 60. Here's all the factors for 3. Here are all the factors for 60. I'm also going to show you a factor tree on this one because all those factors, uh, there's a lot of room for error. And so here's a factor tree. Let's just do it differently. We've got 3 and it's prime, so it's not going to be factors. So then we have 2 times 10, and you can see this will be a lot easier than all of the factors. I've circled all my prime numbers. So we have a 3 for 3, and then for 20, uh, we have a uh, 2, a 2, and a 5. Bring down each number, and then we just multiply straight across. There's 6, there's 12, 12 times 5 is 60. That was quite a bit easier than all the factors, and we got the same answer. Okay, I like this one. 3 and 4, let's write out some factors. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And then let's go 4, 8, 12. Look, we have a common factor. So it is 
12. And let's work on this next one. And on this one, I think it's probably a tie between a factor tree or writing out the factors. So let's go ahead and write out the factors. We got 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. Then we have 15, 30, 45, and 60. So there is our low factor. So it is 60. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Here are all the problems that we worked. Hope that was helpful in practicing finding the least common multiple.